you work to pay bills, and you keep creating bills to live. You barely have time to do what you feel makes life worth living. You can't afford time to be creative because you sell your time to afford the essentials for survival. You live without momentum. You trick yourself into finding pleasure through senseless purchases. To create a fantasy of growing in society. Always looking for the next car, the next house, sneakers and what not. To advance within the society that chews and spits you up every day, every single day. To survive or to get by is hidden behind a false sense of thriving that you create to be able to face your boss one more day, to tell yourself your existence is not worthless. It's already June. I've been expecting change for so long that I might not feel time passing anymore. I look at my watch repeatedly as if something was about to happen when I know damn well it's not. I'm tired, maybe of everything. Maybe of the bullshit talks I overhear around me. I hate coffee shops. Deep down, I think I keep coming back to feel some sense of normalcy. To pretend I fit in. Hi, can I get a black coffee? Yeah, I'll be sitting outside. Talk about pretending. Tomorrow is Monday. I clock in early. Some are pretending to work. Some pretending to be friendly. Some to be important. All trying to matter. All lying to themselves. And to the others. They don't, I don't. No one does honestly matter. This is a vapid existence in a shallow world. Sometimes I envy the simple-minded people who think it all makes sense. Who live their lives acting as if something they were doing. Something for the world. They were doing something for the world. No dear, you are not. We are all just stardust, and this world is begging us to turn back into it, to evaporate, and maybe then some kind of civilization that resembles decency will come out of it. In a society that craves for validation and acceptance, for belonging, the only respectable thing to do is to look for meaning. If you are trying to fix instead of understand, you are already wrong. And that's most of you. I tend to feel only artists are doing something for this wretched earth. True artists. Not the ones that are playing with the algorithm. Not the ones that fit in. Not them. Discomfort is the only proper outcome of any artistic endeavor. Art is not a spectacle. It is not applause, ovation, it's not acceptance. If the environment is not pushing you back, whatever you are doing is worthless. And who am I to say this? Someone who spent lots of time thinking. Lots more than the average simple being. Not that they think too much, they're too busy accomplishing tasks, bossing people around, trying to feel loved, trying to pretend they care. No wonder why this world is in this deplorable state, homelessness, poverty, hunger, to say the least. People are disgusting. The big activists are more worried with grammar or to sound good online than to look at the real issues that are fucking us up. 
and I am one more hypocrite person. I'll shut my brain off and sell my time for a paycheck. I bet you were wondering if I felt special, huh? No, I'm not like you. I'm not like most of you at least. She's calling you. It's not your loved one. It's your boss. After hours, you don't want to pick up. You won't. But just the fact that this just happened is enough to ruin your night. You are a decent person. Doesn't matter if you don't have the greatest social skills, etc. I'm too tired to write this right now. I'm scared of my notebook. It brings the worst in me. I should sleep. I want to sleep. I can't. Everything is too loud. The vent is too loud and if it's not on it's too hot and then I don't sleep anyways. The stove keeps clicking. Making that fucking noise that I can't fix. And the voices. The voices in my head can't be drunk away tonight. I should sleep. I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow is Monday, huh? A day at the office. I watch them as if I were in a zoo. A bunch of spineless animals lining up to lick their boss's boots. I wonder why they don't like me, huh? <laughs> Pathetic little existences. One day, one day I'll come out of this mess. At least when I'm writing I'm not looking at the clock. An eternal countdown to the next bullshit I'm supposed to do. To afford rent, to afford food, comfort, to buy something and feel good about myself. Pathetic, pathetic world. One day, one day I'll get out of this mess. One day I'll come to collect, and all of you, all of you will pay me back. Meanwhile, meanwhile tomorrow is Monday, non paid overtime, deprecating looks because I didn't get in line to kiss my boss's ring. It's not enough to sit in a cubicle for 10 hours, not enough to sell your intelligence, not enough to obey, you gotta be thankful. You are expected to adore, to feed their egos, to make them feel important, intelligent, godlike creatures walking among us, mortals, rent payers, in sync, marching, up in arms, ready to defend their interests. The interests of those exploiting us. What a wonderful world.